All right, guys. Got an exciting one for us today. We got the two ultimate long range 6.5 Grendel loads, in my opinion. On the left, we got the 130 grain Swift Sirocco. On the right, the 127 grain Barnes Long Range X. Both loaded with 32 grains of CFE 223, going over 2,500 feet a second in an 18 inch barrel. This is part two of the ultimate long range hunting bullet for the 6.5 Grendel. Um, if you want to see what the point blank ballistics were and velocities, you can refer to part one, the 6.5 Grendel, the ultimate hunting bullet, question mark. And uh, we'll be shooting at 300 yards today. The gun is not sighted in for either one of these bullets. I have a pretty good idea where they're hitting, but it might take me a little bit to get zeroed in. Hopefully we'll catch some bullets and we'll see how they do. Guys, I got some water jugs set up. We'll have the Swift Sirocco on the left, the Barnes on the right. I'm going to drive back to 300 yards. Hopefully we can pop these jugs. Right, so it looks like we're probably going to have to run it back with the barns. Uh, let's check out the jugs from the Swift. And I think we're going to have to run that one back too. Well, shoot. All right. Let me set up another jug here for the Swifts. And hopefully we'll be able to catch a bullet this time. So I missed both my shots with the barns. Have to go grab more bullets. Like I said, I'm not sighted in for these bullets, so it's a little bit difficult. Uh, looks like the Swift Sirocco went through one, two, three, four, and all right, we got the bullet stuck in the last jug here. And check that out beautiful all right I'm gonna have to go grab some more Barnes bullets sorry guys I thought I'd be able to hit it with I don't know the five rounds that I had but apparently not um, I'll be back so apparently my camera turned off because it got too hot we caught the Sirocco finally got the Barnes to make good contact with the jugs we split that two and a half gallon, went through the next one, two, three, into the fourth, behind it, which would be the equivalent of six one gallon jugs 
I believe this is about equal to the Swift. I'll have to go back and review the video. But there it is, folks. There's the Barnes 200 grain LRX. What I meant Beautiful to say mushroom, here was good the expansion. Grain we'll LRX, do a cleanup video not and 200. get back to you. All right, guys, we're back here at the house. On the left, we have the one. Dad, gummit! I always push these things over. Let's try this again. Cut. Let's retry this. All right, we got the Swift Sirocco and the Barnes LRX. Both these bullets were recovered from water jugs. All right, so I had a really difficult time catching a bullet because my gun was not sighted in for either one of these bullets or sighted in for my 95 grain VMAX bullets. Here's the deal. A little over 2,500 feet a second on both. If you didn't watch my first video on the ultimate hunting bullet for the 6.5 Grendel, but this was 300 yards. We got the Sirocco. It went through the 2.5 gallon jug and it went stopped on the third one gallon jug behind it excellent penetration obviously excellent expansion on the right we got the 127 LRX it went through the two and a half gallon jug and it stopped in the fourth one gallon jug so we got one more jug worth of expansion um, if we look at the top uh, I think I know why but if we look at the tops, you can see that the Swift Sirocco has kind of a long mushroom and <clears throat> definitely wider face on it than the barn. So I think that's why part of the reason why it didn't go through quite as far. Uh, we'll also check weight retention. That could be another reason. But both these bullets, once again, performed excellent. We got excellent expansion. You can see that the Barnes wasn't quite going fast enough to open it up all the way down to the base of that hollow point. But you know what? That's all right. We still got an excellent mushroom, excellent expansion. Let's put these on the scale, see what they weigh. I'm sure it'll be similar to my last test. We'll go to 126.2 because that's where the Barnes was at, a hunt, at point blank range. At 300 yards, this bullet weighs 126.2. All right, now let's see how the Swift Sirocco did. Why don't we take the Swift Sirocco? We'll put it on here, original weight 130, and I have it on 126.2 and that's exactly what we have, 126.2 grains. So essentially, the two bullets weigh the same, which is quite impressive, I guess. <clears throat> the Barnes was going about 40 feet a second faster in speed based off of what the crony said on my first video. Um, I got the 100, or the, not 100, I keep saying 100, but it's, the point blank bullets here and let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison see see how they look here all right so we got the barns at 300 and same barns at point blank we can see at point blank we had a little bit better expansion but both look quite good all right now let's see how the swift looks here's the 300 yard swift and here's the point blank swift once again you can see point blank swift pedal down farther but as far as diameter goes I don't have a calipers or anything but looks about identical so once again, I think my point is pretty well proven. These are two excellent long range bullets for the 6.5 Grendel. And I think based off of what we see, I think out to 400 yards on deer, you'd be doing great. I don't see uh, really any negative sides to either bullet. I think the Barnes has 
definitely has just a slight advantage on penetration. So if you're planning on shooting big deer or, or hogs or whatever, I think you might want to stick with the barns. But, I, I mean, we're just splitting gnat hairs here. Um, you really can't go wrong with either one. If there's any more bullets that you'd like me to test, uh, another bullet that I think might be pretty decent is a 129 long range AccuBond. Um, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I can do testing on 300 Winchester. I can do testing on a 10 millimeter and 6.5 Grendel. So if there's any bullets that you'd like to see tested, please let me know in the comments below. If you would like to see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Take care and safe shooting.